Every 10 years, the NCAA does a review of its member schools. This year, St. Bonaventure is seeking recertification. A major component of the review is the federal Title IX law, which states equal treatment of men and women. One aspect the university might be worried about are its facilities. This field here, used for soccer and lacrosse, has been unusable since December flooding and the harsh winter weather. The currently in-season women's lacrosse team has had to travel to Alfred for all of its home games this season. In a similar situation is the women's softball team, whose grass field has also been unusable compared to the men's baseball team's turf field. Head softball coach Mike Threehouse believes the issue is due to weather, not a cause for concern of unfair treatment. You would think, you would hope, you know, that the school would see that, you know, over the last, this past year especially, that lacrosse hasn't been able to play at home because of the weather. You know, and that's a grass field. I mean, it should be playable, you know. Uh, we haven't been able to play home yet because of the weather. You know, they can't control the weather. But at the same time, we can control facilities that are capable of dealing with the weather. And that's what we have to get to. St. Bonaventure Athletic Director Steve Watson admits changes should and will be made to the outdoor fields. Yeah, we, we, we have some facility issues. I, I don't think that's any, that's, that's not a, that's no secret. It's mm -hmm. been an issue for a number of years. It's something that, um, that, uh, that I'm not proud of. Another look will be given to something Mother Nature cannot affect, indoor facilities, more specifically locker rooms. SBU TV was given an exclusive look behind the doors of the men's and women's basketball team's locker rooms. In the men's locker room entrance, you are greeted by a Bonnie's logo and a montage of pitchers including J.R. Bremer. Behind another door are the players' lockers, roomy, with banners showing their names and numbers. Their adjacent bathroom has shining floors and sinks. On the other side of the locker room is a player lounge, complete with a bar for eating, a viewing TV, and leather couches. The women's locker room is all in one. The players' lockers surround the room, their names displayed above in laminated labels. Their bathroom has tile floors and few working showers. They also have leather couches, the old men's couches before their locker room was renovated. The most eye-catching part of the locker room is the moldy and waterlogged ceilings. SBU TV has learned from the team that they have asked for the ceilings to be fixed, but have not seen the requests filled. The reason the men's locker room was renovated was due to fundraising. The, the men have a, have a fantastic locker room. We, we renovated that um, three years ago, I believe it was. Um, all privately, it's all privately funded. We fundraised for the, um, for the renovations and it's, it's a very nice locker room. The women's locker room, um, it needs to be renovated. There's some work that needs to be done there. According to the NCAA Provision F of their Title IX agreement, states equal treatment of female and male student athletes in locker rooms, practice, and competitive facilities. The NCAA will begin their evaluation of St. Bonaventure Athletics this fall. For SBU-TV, I'm Shannon Shepard.